And it's time now to take a look at some of the highlights, and then we'll look at numbers, and then we'll call it a season. John, here's John. I think if you had to kind of recap the game, it was the poor start by the Leopards, and it was a poor start in the second half. But it was a competitive game in between, to say the least. Lafayette was right there. Newman was just unbelievable, Gary. She was so efficient. At one point, she was 7 for 8 from the floor. But Lafayette was scratching and clawing. Here's the freshman, Kay Donahue, uh, with the steal and the strong finish at the other end. We talked about some of the young players coming up big. But for Loyola, none bigger than big. Lex Terrian in the middle. Uh, she is just a force. The little shake and bake move from Abby Antignoli. You gotta love what she brings, only a sophomore. Uh, again, you, you heard uh, Loyola talk about all the con uh, contributions from so many different people. Coach O'Banion did a terrific job, I thought, making adjustments when they started living and dying by the three. This was Radigan, a huge three right there that she only had a couple of them, but they seemed to come at the most opportune time. There's a defensive play by Donahue. Um, and again, just strong around the glass. I thought that uh, Matthews had her moments. How about Abby Antignoli contributing on the offensive end? And Abby doesn't quit. <laughs> Browsey falls down and Abby says, thank you very much. And you see the energy that she brings. It's incredible. There's Radigan again. Again, this freshman is going to be a good, good player down the road uh, for Loyola. But, Gary, uh, you know, Lafayette gave us everything they had. Six players up against it. Uh, they never said die. They've been very competitive here down the stretch of the season. No question about it. Uh, as you get a look at the final numbers for this one, as Loyola shot 43%, Lafayette 39 percent three-point field goals a little bit better for Loyola rebounding better for Loyola turnovers better for Loyola and certainly a, a great game out of Terry with 17 points 21 rebounds uh, 17 points for Divine Newman that may very well be the story of this game the game that Divine Newman put forth uh, Talia Dixon with 12 Kelly Radican with 10 on the Lafayette side it's uh, Antinoli with 13 Donahue with 11 and Michaela Andrews with 14. So there you have it. Lafayette will end their season with a record of a 10 and 19. Loyola will take a 10 and 20 record to Boston to see what they can do against the number one seed. Mr. Leon, it's been a pleasure. Let's go play golf. You got it. I'm with you. I'm with you. You give me strokes. <laughs> that, that's for us. Uh, thanks again to John Sabino, who wants to be in our foursome, but we're still talking about it. All right. Thank you very much for spending time with us all season long. The men play tomorrow on the CBS Sports Network. That is a 4 o'clock game against American in the semifinal of the Patriot League Championship Tournament. Tune in for sure. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>